on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What kind of bike do you have? Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. <laughs> got something a little different, boys. Yes, it's an e-bike, but it's three-wheeled e-bike. Figure I'd get this for my dad. I've actually had a lot of people asking about the three-wheeled e-bikes and how they are. So here we go. So it took about three hours to assemble. We'll let her charge up. See what adventure we can do with this tomorrow. Got a big basket. I can go grocery shopping. A little basket and a big basket. The next day. So we're fully charged. We still have to put these reflectors on. Do that later. Let's get these tires pumped up. It's not a bad looking machine. I think the seat could have gone back a little bit further. It actually pedals pretty easily. Check and see whether they're proper pressure. So these are 20 by 4.0, 9 to 30 PSI. 30 would be a little stiff. Put 22. It's got five in there now. Seven. And eight. And grab the tools just in case. And we'll go on a little adventure. Two tool kits. You never know. Power it up, holding the power button. Hopefully you guys could see that. We'll go up to three. And we're off. Let's see if this does in the sand. Sixteen miles an hour. You could probably raise the speed up on this. 16 is probably pretty good. It really doesn't handle bumps too bad for no rear suspension. I think the seat should have went back just a little bit more. So I handled that sand pretty good. So we'll do our zero to top speed here. Ready, go. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. Ah. Puppy. Go to the little one. Hey, puppy. See how this handles the corners, top speed. That well, sticks pretty good. You get that gyro action out of wheels holding you. It's like the old Honda three-wheelers, if you ever had one of those. definitely wider so you got to watch it on the roads we're gonna hop the curb boys what oh, a front shock we're good no buffalo out today this way for a little bit KOA campground <laughs> that was my son Andrew loosened up again so we went 3.9 miles, still full battery still. Oh, there is a little sidewalk over there. I should probably hit that. 
if you're leaning to the left and hit the brake, you'll lock it up. Oh, there's someone walking, of course. I'll go around. Cut across. Carrying across. Crystal River Middle School, home of the Bearcats. That's in seventh gear. You can just about pedal 15 miles an hour. There's a Crystal River Train Museum. Have to stop in there one time. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one to cross. Let's take First Avenue. Well, nowhere to cross here. We're in the middle of Crystal River. Take our time through here. This has the cadence style pedal assist. So when you pedal, it's either on or off. Kane's Cattle Steakhouse. We're gonna have to try that place. No dogs or alcohol allowed. Hunter Spring Park. We'll go in and do a U-turn. Everybody's looking for manatees. So we got 5.4 miles. Still showing full battery. The seat's not too bad. I thought it'd be more uncomfortable than it is. I'll hit the sidewalk. Now in there is the best spot to look for manatees in Crystal River. Three Sister Springs. Oh, turtle. Do you know what types of uh, turtles those are by chance? Uh, I can't remember. That one's waving at you though. <laughs> Cuts leg up. I can't remember. Did you go and see the manatees yet? Yeah, I have. Yeah, they're beautiful. I can't believe how many there are. I have a place down here. We just got down here a few days ago, but I want to go check them out because I heard there's more than usual. There's a ton. There was one spot where there were so many and they were so kind of close together and still I thought I was looking at like some of the riprap. Like the oh, wow. It was just one yeah. continuous yeah. manatee. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Ah, we'll skip Harbor Freight. And it does have plenty of power. I have to say that. For 500 watts, 750 peak. Let's see if we see something in here. Nope. Well, there's a kayaker. I didn't realize you could that you could paddle over to that side. I'm gonna have to check that out. There must be a way to park over there. Oh, maybe that's that kayak place. Take a spin down Paradise Point. One of my favorite restaurants down here. It says no parking, but it doesn't say I can't enter. That's gotta be the rack then. Needlefish. wonder what those are. Maybe they put them over to culverts. How's it going? All my cameras, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm reviewing the bike. <laughs> yeah. Hammer down, boys. Yeah, if you're taking a hard right and you hit the brakes, It'll definitely lock up that rear right tire. Better to learn how to use both brakes anyway. But you got hit by the tornado a few months back, huh? Oh no, that's a fire. 
Oh, they had a fire. 7.3 miles, still full battery. Now they do make a version of this with a center drive and I was supposed to get one of those to review but they were totally sold out and this one looks like it's sold out now too. <laughs> Reviewing a bike so I gotta try to wear this battery down. <laughs> Thanks you too. Well maybe we'll go all the way out to the beach. Those guys still haven't repaired after the tornado. This one's got a nice big bike path for the whole way. It's like seven miles out from here. You get on a pretty good angle. Feels like you're gonna tip, but it don't. They were hit by the tornado too, haven't finished their repairs. Might have to stop at the deli up here and grab some lunch. Here's a deli. Let's get something to eat. Wow, look at you, you must be a Google employee. <laughs> Yeah, Take no. Cars, you got yourself a little trike now. Google sucks. They got to tear it apart. It starts with goo. That's right. You know that? No, I'm just I'm doing a review on a bike. You know that Google got its name how it got its name? No. Well, I'm going to tell you. The founder of Yahoo is Tim Google. There were spies that stole everything from Yahoo and then whoop, they they made Google the biggest nice. fucking thing in the world. Yahoo. See, Google has to turn to goo, back to goo. Thing is Yahoo cuz that's happy. Yippee. You know what I mean? Is that it? Is that crazy enough for you? What brand is that? Mine. No, a brand. Well, the actual, I'll sh tell you. Okay. That's what I do. I do reviews on oh, e-bikes. Okay. That's what I'm doing well, now. Do. What I do is I don't like car. C-A-R. So I put the tape on there so it's an e-bike. And it's F-U. <laughs> F-U e-bike. <laughs> hey, good one. <laughs> Have a good one. Oh, I do. Thank you. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Good. I will get um, what kind of cold cut you have? Boar's Head or oh, what brand? Uh, Duck Deli. Ham and Swiss with mayo on hard roll. I've got Cuban bread. I've got. Some I'll do it on a Cuban. So your place will be on my channel. Awesome. Well, we bought it last month from a couple of new owners. Oh, I didn't realize that. I actually done a bunch of restaurant reviews around here. I put them at the end of my videos. That's awesome. Take it easy. Have a good day. I'll put this up front. We'll eat that when we get to the beach. <laughs> yeah, I do reviews. Wearing a battery down on a bike, going to the beach and all around. Should have brought my fishing pole. How much did you get for one of them? They asked like 13, but usually after the discounts and everything, it's like 12. Prices keep going down on them. Have a good day. Now I'm hungry. On these straightaways, I wish it was a little faster. Somebody went off the road. Old pontoon. On a pontoon. He's cranking. Hitting them corners. Four mile mark. A little past halfway there. Fairly new house on stilts right there. That's how high you got to build them now to get out of the flood zone. 10 miles. Lost one bar battery at 10 miles. 10.5. Some scooters coming up. Those are fun too. Let's check out this first boat ramp here. We're going to push this battery. There's a Jeep like mine again. Gee, it's almost identical. Pretty quiet here today. There. Trying to see how fast I can go around the corners here. Oh, the scooters came in here. Few people fishing on the pier. Five mile marker. Marine science station coming up. Airboat rides. Oh, they're doing airboat rides now, huh? Didn't know that. Let's go down in there and take a look. Maybe see how it makes it up this hill. Hmm. 
I guess that's where they normally park. I bet they've been there maybe. I don't know. I don't ever remember seeing them. They have some pretty good food too. Ah, no problem. No problem at all getting up that. All right, 750 peak, that's pretty decent. Looks like the school's down there. They like the trike. Walk to nature. I don't see anybody out there. So we'll trike to nature. Of course, if you're handicapped, you could take this pretty much anywhere. This was wrecked last time I was down here. My hiney's still doing okay. This nice big seat. Uh oh, use two bars. And we're at 13.2. Hopefully we'll make it. Use two bars out of five, 13.2 miles. Six mile mark. Throttle only. I really didn't do any pedaling at all. But if I run out of battery, I will be. Ha ha ha. So I guess choosing between this and one of those three wheel scooters, you'd have to be able to get your feet on the pedal. And it's not bad to have the pedals because you can exercise if you have a problem with your legs. It has bigger wheels on this so you could definitely go further. Definitely faster. The seat is not going to be as comfortable because they give you a nice armchair seat in those three wheel scooters. And you'll definitely get over more terrain than those three wheel scooters because they only have like little 8 inch tires, 8 inch diameter. And they cost a whole lot more money. I'm not sure about the range between this and the other three-wheel scooter. I think this has better range. Just past the seven mile mark. Getting close. I'm getting hungry. A little over 15 miles. Still have three out of five bars. We might make it home. Might have to straighten these handlebars out a little more. They're a little bit off to the left. The air's cooling off until we're getting near the water. I didn't think there'd be many on the beach. Oh, they got it open. Must have fixed the ramp. They didn't fix the boardwalk yet. Hopefully we don't stir up the no see -ums, huh? Give it a little rest. 16.8 miles. Mm, a little light on the meat. Typically I like my meat. At least what half of the bread is. Uh oh. ton of no see -ums. Getting out of here. Get where the breeze is. Already started getting me thought that'd be a bad idea. The wind will keep them away. That wasn't too bad of a sandwich. Now let's see if we can make it back. I drop off my garbage. Hmm. Wonder why that loosens up like that. think it's flooded yeah hold the wide open yeah I can see it it's definitely flooded you can see it dripping underneath a little the air box is here was automatic choke yeah mm -hmm. well, worst scenario is Frank go get the truck mm -hmm. good luck well, that's one thing you don't have to worry about with knee bike uh oh all that going through the sand and stuff put me down to two bars 17 miles exactly 
So I'm saying you don't have to deal with the gas flooding on an e-bike, but you have to worry about it dying. But I still have pedals. So do mopeds. Well, we'll see whether the one scooter comes through to go pick up the truck. Like he says, he'll get a truck if he can't get it started. Tried straightening out my handlebars a little bit. I think I went a tad too far. So the speeds are only for pedal assist. They do not affect your thumb throttle. Going against the wind, boys. We're young and strong and running against the wind. Old and not so strong and running against the wind. Someone ended up in there. Didn't get it started. Float stuck or something. 20 miles. Still got two or five bar of the battery left. Six mile marker. Then I still got another four to get back to the house. Down to one bar, 22 miles exactly. Uh, if we're gonna make it on battery, four miles. Oh, and once the battery started going down, it went down quick. Yeah, that backrest keeps sliding down. My hiney's still doing okay though. There's Sea Hag's Deli again. It was all right. I like double the meat on it that he put though. That's what she said. <laughs> Some people don't like a lot of meat. That's what she said. Almost to Route 98. I'm in a turn lane. Oh well. I'm dangerous. Come on, Moon Cool, you can do it. You can do it. Well, mileage is getting cut back. I think we're running out of juice. Well, flashy battery at 27.7. We are not gonna make it home. Error 11. Well, it looks like we're pedaling the rest of the way. Pedal's pretty easy, though. Some of these e-bikes pedal hard. Might as well shut it off. I have to raise this seat up so I can pedal a little better. Jeez, hope he don't get out. Give me a push. Ooh, got a little battery assist here. Some came back. Yeah, well, we take our time and pedal home. Pedal assist one is working still. About two more miles, boys. I can use the exercise. Won't be cutting across the power lines today. So pedal assist one is for like five, six miles an hour. Oh, battery dead again. We'll let her charge up a little more again. I'm glad I don't have any big hills. Still faster than walking. Definitely harder to pedal than a regular bike, of course. There's all the extra weight and the fat tires. About a mile to go, boys. I figure I'd get my mail. Yeah, it's good exercise. Ah, good. John's here. Picking up hitchhikers? Ran out of battery like three miles ago. I've been pedaling. <laughs> oh, really? I saw a video that you were trying out a three, three one. Then I realized it was two. Three days. One day. Oh yeah. All right. I forgot I put it up when I was pedaling. Okay. Well, thanks for the ride, John. You're welcome. Saved me some pedaling. Got her plugged in and charging. Did pretty good. The only thing. This seat keeps loosening up, and this back piece. I could tighten it up as tight as I want, and that thing just keeps sliding down. I have to do something with that. Other than that, it went pretty good. Wow, this thing is double boxed. Some assembly required. I'm sure you all remember me and my buddy Rat went for a ride when he was using his three-wheeled scooter. I think a three-wheeled bike would be a lot better. You're a little more capable to get around and a lot cheaper than those medical three wheel ones. Double boxed. Oh, nice big assembly manual. Very nice. So, yes, there's some assembly required. Headlight, one charger, pedals. 
Righty right hand thread, lefty left hand thread, bolt caps, seat stem, derailleur. Looks like it's going to be a bit more complex than a two wheeler. Chain with master link, reflectors, tie wraps, and some clips. Wrench set, reflectors for the spokes. Not a bad looking seat there. An adjustable backrest. Not bad. It is front wheel drive, 500 watt hub. Adjustable neck up and down on that too. One of the rear fenders. One of the rear wheels. Ball bearings. 6302RS. My wife's not very good on two wheels and she saw the picture and she said she might be interested in something like this too. So might have to get a different three wheeler for her. I promise this one to my dad. Front rack. Oh, look at that. It's real wood. Not a bad idea to check all the bolts on these anyway. Rear tire. They are aluminum with steel spokes. Aluminum frame. They usually use the aircraft aluminum. Front suspension. Solid rear. Yeah. 6061 aluminum. This is the TK1 front wheel drive, boys. It's the rear axle here. No kickstand needed for this. Mechanical cable style disc brakes. Won't have to work in the sand anymore, boys. Once I get that garage up. Shung Feng rear cassette. This one wheel locks. And the other wheel spins, so it's a one wheel drive in the rear. I was wondering how they were going to deal with that. So these are just keepers, so they don't bend during shipping. I don't see any birthmarks either. that axle on the back like that. Not quite sure if these wrenches will give you enough torque. Make sure your axle is straight. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. First thing it says to do is put that derailleur on. Goes behind that little notch right there. Which means way up there. You need to be adjusted a little. That's what these screws do. Uh, it's close, but I don't think it's perfect. Shows one side has that oblong with a slot. The other side has a bearing on both sides. This has the slot. So this will go on here. And go over that slot like this so. And we'll put the axle nut on here. Tighten it up probably as much as you can. This wrench does not have a lot of leverage on it. Like so. And then the other side. So keep that aluminum tube on there. Washer lock nut. Tighten her down. Getting somewhere now. And they're saying to flip up the handlebars. So put the handlebars in, flip that up and lock it. Make sure our handlebars are straight. Tighten this collar. Go back and forth until they're nice and snug. Tighten that up. It looks pretty good. Now it's saying to put the chain on. Chain magic buckle. Never saw that type of master link before. Never seen that before. On that, then through that fancy master link on, and then stretch it over that front. Hmm. Got 
Doesn't work too bad. Hmm. One wheel squeal, boys. Looks like fenders and reflectors. Reflector number two. I want to put it this way. Probably should have put these fenders on before the wheels, maybe. So I guess you could put it wherever you want, but I kind of would think that that, if you're going this way, probably like that. There, get the left fender on. Now pedals, left, this is a left hand thread, put that as tight as you can, right, right hand thread, rear brake, right lever, that's a little clamp here. Make sure these adjusters are in all the way on both of these. Go up till the brakes touch and then back off about a half inch, quarter inch. There. So the brakes just stop the drive tire. Front brakes are already hooked up. And now derailleur, shift cable. Make sure this is down all the way before you put that cable in. So it's not going to first, which means I have to even more. Yep. So we're in first, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, sixth. Fifth, fourth, third, second, first. See, it shows low limit and high limit screw. The high limit was all right because it didn't push it off. And first is perfect now. Now it shows putting front basket. Oh, I gotta pop these on before I forget. Hmm, looks pretty level to me. Front rack is on. Rear rack is going to be assembled. That's what it looks like. Front and back. Oh, you got to wrap those around there. Huh. Jeez. I think tie wraps would have worked better, but two on the bottom of each. I might just go pick up some heavy duty tie wraps and put my nose in so it won't come out. There. Yeah, I think tie wraps would be better for this. Put the basket, then the two long gaskets. Make sure the screw holes are aligned. Put the seat together. A little further back. Battery pack. Wait, where's the headlight go? Of 
48 volt, 14 and a half amp hour. Turn battery on. And tighten them up. Sky's darkening up. Can't find the corner. Jeez. Three speed. Woo! Burning out. <laughs> it's actually more stable than I thought. The tires are. I gotta check them. They're burning out. It's more stable than I thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, you can. You can crank pretty good on the corners. Yeah. From the drive. It's even got a little fart box hole with a muffler on it so they can't hear you say it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. It's got like a soft start. More stable than you think. No reverse. That would have been cool. Not quite tightened enough to hold that up. Yeah, it's got a soft start so it doesn't burn out all the time. Pedal assist. I think it'll beat my buddy Rat's three wheeler. Brakes work good. You're doing good. You can go put your chair in the back. <laughs> He's burning out. Mama picked up her chair. She's going to bring it around the front. No. Whoa. Oh, I didn't try the light. Where's the light? There it is. Twenty eight point seven miles. So I tighten up the seat again. Tighten up the right axle nut. That was a hair loose. Those little wrenches are good for assembly, but you can't really get the torque that you need, so you're gonna have to use a bigger wrench for some of those bigger nuts. Put some tie wraps, because I actually tried to lift this by this edge, and it popped a whole bunch of clips off, so I figured these will work pretty good. These aren't super big. I'll just put them a little closer. So what are my impressions on this bike? Pretty good for the price. I've seen these three wheelers go a lot more money. 27.7 miles, not too bad for battery only. So their claim of 30 miles is pretty close. Probably would have done 30 miles if I didn't horse around and have so much sand on my road and everything. I could have definitely done over 30 miles. Really the only issues I had was this making noise. This hub was clicking because I didn't have the nut tight enough. And the seat kept loosening up. The only other thing I could see being a problem on these type of bikes, because you can't have a posi rear or you wouldn't be able to turn. So the drive side and the brake side are both on this right side. So when you hit the brake, if you're going on a sharp right turn, it'll lock that brake up. I mean, the only way to fix that, you could put some kind of a limited slip mechanism. Man, these tie wraps will definitely do the trick. So if you enjoyed my ventures on the e-bike and you want this e-bike, I'll have all the information below with any discount codes that they'll give me for you guys. If you already own this bike, please comment how it's been going, what you feel about it. All tie wrapped all around. I even tie wrapped it to the frame up here. Solid. Way better than the metal strips. It even looks better. So as far as this backrest going up and down, I think if I wrap some tape there and some tape there, 
because I like it high and I'm sure my dad will too. I think that'll hold it from slipping. I thought about a piece of foam tape. I'll wrap around this twice, I guess. That did it. That should do it. There. So yeah, if you like what you see on this bike, I have the link below in the description. Thanks for riding along on my adventures. You never know what you'll see, or who you'll see. It's Yahoo! Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.